So can you, can you go through that experience and maybe recap or not even recap, but if you want to uh, go into that story, because it's such a compelling story. That's why I decided to reach out to you. And it was just really, it grabbed me like by my soul and pulled me into the story. Uh, so my husband is from the Bay Area in California and my, my uh, we go out there a lot. Um, but I never really liked to burn my leave with Space A, honestly, while I was on active duty. We've done it on active duty, but um, it just, we used more leave. So since I was on terminal leave, I was like, oh, this is the perfect time. Um, so I just randomly, because we hadn't taken a Space A in years, like before kids. So my kids had never done it. Um, so I was like, I think I'm going to start, I started looking and I seen that they were doing it again. And I joined the Facebook group and just really learned a lot from the um, Facebook group. And then I sat down with my family. We literally had a family meeting and we talked about it um, because I think that's why a lot of people get frustrated is because they don't like they, you have to set your expectations. So we had a family meeting and we talked about what it is. And we talked about how, like, we are not the mission, that they have a mission, and we're just hitchhiking. They're just, like, letting us go. So sometimes their mission can change, or they can cancel their mission, or they may have a mission that we can't get on, but we won't know um, until we get there. So we just, I said, like, well, we complain, and they're like, no. And I'm like, well, we get mad, and they're like, no. So we kind of went over different scenarios. I'm like, what if we have to drive two hours? get up really early and then we still can't go are we going to get upset and we're like no so I mean they're six and eight so it was it really really helped us during the situation so we were going to go one week we I kept watching McGuire and um Dover and any other time Andrews goes to uh Andrews was going like every week and then Andrews goes to Charleston a lot as well but then when we wanted to go I did not see Travis on Andrews at all so we're really gonna go from um, McGuire and it was on a Sunday and I called um I called them on Saturday night because they don't update the websites as much so you really have to call like and call a lot <laughs> but so when I called it's four we're a family of four and they said it's three seats firm so I'm like okay we're not going on that flight so now we're at I think we're at Monday now so I was like well it's a flight out of Dover so this particular week it was like four flights to Travis in a row like Sunday through t Tuesday I think we're at Tuesday there were flights and then as Monday came it was another one Wednesday um, so my husband works, so we were like, well, just, let's just buy you a commercial ticket. Um, uh, no, we didn't buy him. So this was Monday morning. We were all going to go Monday morning and I got up and it was like four in the morning. We were about to leave. And, um, someone told me like, oh, you have to get the kids birth certificates. Cause at the time they didn't have their passports. We had just mailed off for their passports and they don't have DOD ID cards. So if you have a DOD ID card, or you have a passport, then you're fine. You don't need birth certificates, but we didn't have either. So we needed some form of ID. So I'm tearing up my office looking for it. And then it hit me like, no, you mailed them off. You don't have them. You didn't lose them. You don't have them. You literally mailed them off two weeks ago. So I panic and I call them and I'm just like, are they really going to ask? You know? Um, and like I said, I've been in this area 12 years so my kids were born here so um this was like monday at 4 a.m my kids are so mad like mom you woke us up for nothing um so i i was like we can't go today but i was like it's another flight tomorrow we're fine we'll go tuesday um so monday i took a nap got back up and went to uh get their birth get copies of their birth certificates and I'm like, you guys are so lucky that you were actually born here. Most military people would not be located where their kids are born, you know, <laughs> especially if you're six and eight years old. Um, so I went and got copies of their birth certificates and I was like, okay, we're going to leave. But at this point, we got my husband a commercial ticket because he needed to work because he had already taken off Monday. So I'm driving him to the airport and I'm like, yeah, it's a flight tomorrow. And somebody told me to call when I called the flight that was Tuesday now it's Wednesday. So I was like, okay, the kids, 
we're not leaving on Tuesday either. So um, Tuesday morning come and I'm like, let me see if they changed it, if it's going to be Tuesday again. And it was still Wednesday. So I was like, well, it's over. It's by the beach. I was like, boys, I know we said we were leaving today, but let's just drive out there and we'll just go to the beach. So worst case scenario, we still, we haven't been to the beach this summer. So we'll go. And Dover is like 30 minutes from the beach. So we went, we spent the day at the beach. We got filling in at Dover. Um, and then we went up to the terminal just to see um, if the flight was going to happen um, on Wednesday morning. So <clears throat> we go back Wednesday. We're like, everything is great. We check in. Everything is great. Um, it's like a seamless process. The USO is awesome. It's very, very kid friendly. So they're like lounging, playing video games. It was amazing. And it was no one there. Um, they had 73 seats. It was a C5. It had 73 seats and it was like 11 passengers. Most, I don't think it was any active duty because um, the kids probably just started school. Um, and then they take us like typically you're, it's kind of like a regular terminal. Like I guess how terminals used to be prior to 911 where you, it was a lot of stuff to do before the gate. <laughs> And then once you go to the other side, so um, once you go to the other side, it's like, okay, you're going to board. They kind of put you in the boarding area. So we go through security and we're in there like 10 minutes and um, they said, okay, get your stuff. We're about to shuttle you to the plane. So we're all walking up and we're so excited. Like we're about to get on this plane. This is seamless. And someone says, no packs, no packs. And then... <laughs> And then she's like, oh, sorry, sit down, sit down. No packs right now. <laughs> so, so we all just sit down and then we literally don't hear anything for like two hours. Like they didn't come back and say, hey, it's going to be a delay. They didn't come back. So, you know, I just looked at it like they're busy. Like whatever, whatever the reason a plane isn't going we're not the priority. So <laughs> I can't expect them to come and check on us or give us an update. Like they'll come back when they come back. So we just all took a nap. And then I was just like, I, I hope we get on this plane, you know? And at the time we had booked a rental car at Travis um, because we were supposed to land at Travis at two. So then when they finally came and got us, it was about East coast time. It was like three, um, it was about two or three. I don't know. But I know we landed at Travis because they did come back and, and let us on the plane. And we landed at Travis at 4.55. And the rental car closes at 5 p.m. <laughs> so there's no way we're making it to get that rental. So as soon as I land, I call. And they're like, "We no, we're going to close anyway. So um, it's, it's, it's like. Oh, it's Tuesday or Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and it's at that time. It's five p.m. in the Bay Area. Um, so I called my husband, and he was like, "Well, I'll drive and come and get you, but it's traffic. So with no traffic, it's an hour and twenty minutes. So <laughs> I'll be there in three hours." Um, so I'm like, "Okay." And the terminal is pretty empty, but and Travis has this family area that's really amazing, and. They had like two DVDs and my kids are like, what is this? <laughs> and I, was like, oh, it's a DVD. I was like, it's a DVD. And they're like, so what's that, mom? <laughs> so then they asked me. That's how we used to watch movies back yeah, in the old days. And they're days. like, mom, did you have TVs when you were young? And I'm like, how old do you think I am? I'm like, right. yes, we had TVs, but we didn't have the internet that way. We couldn't stream. So um, the movies were like Iron Man and Men in Black. So we tr we tried Men in Black, and I kind of almost didn't really know how to work a DVD player anymore because <laughs> it wasn't a remote either. So I'm like, how do you make it play? Because I, I you probably don't remember when you put a DVD in, it's like a, a menu. It pops up first. It doesn't just play, you know. So I'm like, I don't have a remote, so I couldn't get Men in Black to play. So we just watched Iron Man. And by the time the movie was ending, my husband pulled up and we left. So my kids, they were just like, I don't know about Space Day because they just really wanted to see their cousins. We, I said, okay, well, I want to stay around a week. And then I, so it was like Wednesday. I was like, I'll start looking for a flight on Monday. So I'm not even going to look. I'm not going to pay attention until Monday. So I didn't see anything Monday. 
And then on Tuesday, I saw a flight for Thursday. So I told my husband, we're leaving Thursday. I'm like, he's like, oh, we got to leave already. So then um, Wednesday, it went from the flight being at 11. And then it was at like 1 a.m. Then it was like at 4 a.m. So it kept pushing up. So now we're into like Friday morning kind of. So then they just canceled it. So we were like, okay, we're not going. So the kids had all their stuff packed up. We're like, they're like, we're not going. So we're like, fine. So they're happy. So it got pushed to the next day. So the next day I'm like, okay, we're leaving. I think at this point it's Friday. Now we're leaving Friday. Then it got canceled. So every day we would say goodbye to everyone. We would be like, you know, leaving. <laughs> and every day we wouldn't go. So um, Saturday, I was like, oh, if we can't get on this flight. I was like, if we if we can't. So Saturday, you're like, yes, the flight is going. We're going. So we drive out to Travis. And it was like a three-hour delay. They're like, it's a delay. They tagged our bags. They took everything. So my husband... And his brother had taken us out there. They were like, um, we're just going to go to the bowling alley. We're just going to go bowling. So I was like, I'll stay around the terminal just in case they talk, call us. And they were like, come back at 6 p.m. Because I think roll call was like 1 p.m. And they were like, come back at 6. So um, at like 5, they're like, okay, everyone come boarding. So I'm texting him like, hurry up, hurry up, get back. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, where is he? Is he in the bathroom? I was like, he's coming. And then <laughs> this is TMI, but it's so funny. I'm like, where are you? He's like, Billy had to poop. I was like, out of all time. <laughs> <laughs> so my six-year-old, like out of the worst time ever, he's like, he had to poop. So we're in the bathroom. I was like, oh, we're going to get left. You, know? <laughs> you couldn't do that two hours exactly. ago? Exactly. We had all this time. Really? And right when we're leaving. <laughs> So we go. Through he was prepping himself <laughs> for the long flight. So we're all excited. Yeah. We go through security. Um, I had like a little pouch. I always carry my stuff in a little fanny pack, like my phone and my wallet. I think just my wallet. My, I must have had my phone. So we go through security, and we're literally because once we feel like once you go back there, you're getting on the plane. Like plane is ready, you're getting on. We're back there like 15 minutes, and they're like. Folks, roll call has been pushed 24 hours. And we're like, <laughs> we're like 24 hours. And they're like, so come back at, uh, I think they said tomorrow at 8 p.m. or something. And we're like, oh man. So thank God his brother like was barely out the gate. Like he wasn't too far. So he came back and he got us. So, um, I start, I look, I wake up early in the morning and I look at their page and I don't see a flight to, to Dover. I don't see it. And I'm like, what's going on? There's no flight to Dover. And there's so many flights to Hawaii. And I'm like, we should just go to Hawaii. Right. <laughs> I was like, I mean, we should just, we should just go to Hawaii. But, um, and I don't see the flight. So I call and they're like, yes, ma'am, the flight is moved to tomorrow. And I was like, tomorrow? And so someone had sent me a messenger, like someone from the terminal. They said, ma'am, you left your wallet, like my whole wallet in the terminal. So when I sent it through the scanner, my little fanny pack, I forgot the whole fanny pack. They said it had, it had fell. So I guess it was probably a little good that I didn't get on that flight because I would have got on it without <laughs> my wallet. So it's like Sunday and I'm like, well, can't get on base without my cat card um i was like so i need to go back and get it and my husband's like well won't you just wait until the flight and i was like because i don't want to go through the drama of trying to get through the gate and we're trying to do it and i was just like yeah forget it i'll just i'll just go later um so my kids were at church with their grandma we're just like there's no flight today it's tomorrow so we started looking up commercial tickets and it was going to be about i think it was like 500 dollars per ticket for one-way tickets so it was pretty expensive, but we were just like, we're just going to get the tickets. And then they call us because the lady had been texting me about my wallet. And then she she texts me. They didn't call me. She texts me and she said, oh, they changed the flight. Roll call is 1140. And it's like 10 a.m. <laughs> And I was like, what's the latest you can get there? And I'm like, I am an hour and 20 minutes away. I don't have my kids. My husband's on a bike ride, you know? 
So I call him, I'm like, come back, come back, they sent the flight. And so we have to find a ride to the airport, pick up our kids like that are in a different city and then go to the airport. So I was like, so what is the absolute latest we can get there? And I think they said 1400. So that gave us like a solid two hours. And we pulled it off <laughs> and we got there <laughs> and um, we were, we waited that day. It was delayed. So we were a little scared, but even it was probably like a four hour delay. And my um, brother-in-law stayed, <laughs> he stayed. I was like, we were like, we're going to text you when we get on the plane. <laughs> so, um, and then um, we ended up landing in Dover at Dover at like, uh, I think we landed at like 2 a.m. or something. And then we just drove the two hours home. But my kids, they're like, we love Space Day. But that's because they they like the delays in California because they kept, they kept getting to stay. But over here, they don't like the delays because they want to go. So um, it was just a yeah. whirlwind experience. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, like I said, the story really pulled me in. And it was just all the things that happened along the path and that's actually like pretty much how space a normally works in my experience anyway there's been a few times where you just get there and you hop on the plane and you go to your destination and you get off and everything's cool no problems and that's usually once every 20 or 30 times maybe i do think the probability of you being delayed if it's a c5 is like really 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 a greater probability